everyone. Good morning to you. A very good morning to you. I'm here to read for you a daily devotion by Apostle Grace Lubega. Today we're reading from the book of Matthew chapter 24 verses 24 and it says, For there shall arise false grace, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much as, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Our theme today is the godly over the spectacular. In the life of Christianity, there's a difference between the supernatural and the spectacular. If you do not understand the difference, you will easily be drawn into the gimmicks of men who have learned how to tamper with the metaphysical world. Men who can create magic, manipulate vision, and, and false perspectives. It will interest you to know that some of these men stand on church pulpits today. In the name of Christ, yet they operate by a different light. It is this tragic reality that is pointed out by our theme scripture. The Bible reveals that there are men in the world who perform great signs and wonders. If it were possible, even the, even the elect of God would be deceived. In a world... Sorry, but what is the starting point of deception? The starting point is looking at life from only the spectacular without considering the supernatural. In a world where those of the fallen nature are starting to understand the portals and gateways of the spirit, the Christian must distinguish between what is of God and what is merely spectacular but not of God. Simply because a man performs miracles and wonders does not mean that he is. He does it by the true light. Discernment is very important. You must have the wisdom to see the darkness hidden in the wondrous work. That is how we distinguish the true light from the false light. Our father said is from Matthew chapter 7 verses 22 to 23 and 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 to 3. And the golden nugget is, in the life of Christianity, there is a difference between the supernatural and the spectacular. You must have the wisdom to see the darkness in a wondrous work. That is how we distinguish between the true light and the false light. Let us pray. My father, I thank you for this truth. I am a child of the true light. I have discernment in the things of the spirit and can never be deluded by the spectacular. The works of deception are far from me because I live my life by this wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Have a very lovely day.